Understanding the phrase, standout player. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into an exciting phrase in the English language, standout player. This phrase is often used in sports commentary and various other contexts. Understanding it can enrich your English vocabulary, especially if you're interested in sports or want to describe someone exceptional in any field. The phrase, standout player, can be broken down into two parts, standout and player. Standout. This word is an adjective meaning very noticeable or distinguished by excellence. It implies something or someone that is very easy to see or notice because of being different or better. Player. In the simplest terms, a player is someone who plays a sport or game. But in a broader sense, it can refer to a participant in any activity or field. When combined, standout player refers to a person who excels in their field, particularly in sports, and is noticeably better than others. Now, let's see how this phrase is used in real-life situations. 1. Sports Commentary In tonight's game, the standout player was undoubtedly the goalkeeper, with his remarkable saves. 2. Business and Workplaces In our team, Jenna is a standout player, always delivering projects ahead of time with exceptional quality. 3. General Use Among the artists, his vibrant style makes him a standout player. Notice how the context changes the interpretation slightly but the underlying meaning of excellence and distinction remains the same. Understanding similar phrases can help deepen your grasp. Star player, often used in sports, implying a player of exceptional skill. Key player, someone crucial or very important in a context, like a team or project. MVP, most valuable player, a term borrowed from sports, used in various contexts to indicate the highest value or contribution. That's all for our exploration of the phrase, standout player. It's a versatile phrase that you can use in various contexts to describe someone who is exceptionally good at what they do. Remember, language is not just about words, it's about conveying ideas and emotions. I hope this video helps you do just that in English. Happy learning and see you in the next video.